Good morning, Calvary. My name is Robert. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. You know, if you've done any amount of traveling outside the United States, you know how frustrating the language barrier can be. Whether you're trying to find a subway in Beijing, find the hotel in Italy, or order fish tacos on the beach of Ensenada, the confusion of languages can be frustrating. But do you know that there's actually a very biblical reason for this? See, in Genesis chapter 11, we see a story of a group of people who had settled in an area called Shinar. And as they were there, they had an idea. Their idea was that they would form and bake bricks and build a tower. But the tower was to be so tall that it would reach the heavens. And their motivation was this. Their motivation was so that they would not be scattered across the land and so that they could make a name for themselves. They wanted to be significant. They were wanting to find greater significance and rank in the world than God had. And they were wanting this tower to be so massive that they could be in the physical place of God as well. See, it was their sin and desire to usurp God that has created the language barriers that we still deal with today. Because listen to what happens in verse 7 as God watches this. It says this, God says, Come, let us go down there and confuse their language so they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord dispersed them and from there over the face of all the earth and they left off building the city. Therefore, its name was called Babel because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth and from there the Lord dispersed them over the face of the earth. So what does this mean for us? Well, it means that every time there's tension in communication, it's a reminder that humanity is prone to sin and that one of the consequences of that is the creation of languages. The need for Google Translate and Rosetta Stone is really a reminder of our need for Christ to come and redeem our heart and translate our desire toward sin into a desire toward faith and obedience in Christ. Because rather than trying to make a name in a building for ourselves, we need to be better at making the name of Christ greater in our areas of influence. So today, whenever you struggle to communicate, let this be a reminder to you that you need Christ in your life, working to redeem and translate your heart, working to redeem and translate your motives, working on you to be translated into the person that God has created you to be so that you can glorify and honor him in your life. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.